This is going to be a very quick video. So in the last one, we sent out the HTTP request and we returned our server ID as shown here. And that ID is just a randomly generated number between 1 and 2 million. So currently I have the web API running and what we're going to do is we're going to take our returned ID, convert that to an integer and store it in our server ID variable. Now this server ID variable is what's going to be used for things such as deleting our server. So when we force ourselves to exit the lobby and if, assuming we're the host, we are going to pretty much tell the web API that, okay, we're done hosting. We want to go ahead and delete ourselves from the database. So what we're going to do is if successful, we're going to go ahead and do server ID equals FC string ATOI and that takes a pointer to our essentially our return value. So that is response get content as string like so. And I want to take the UE log and I'm simply going to change it up a bit and do success ID percent D for a decimal value, I'm mean, not a decimal value, then do a server ID and compile. So that way we can see the uh, value that gets printed, well, the value that we're receiving. So again, the server is running. So let's go ahead and launch the game. There's game. And here we have success ID and then the value. So if we head to our workbench, here we have a matching server ID. So that's good, we know it's working. So that means we can continue with on everything else. So we have access to the server ID. So up next, we will be removing the server from the database so, uh, whenever we close it. So, I will see you then.